Thank you for tuning in to TTV. I'm your host, Toya, and today is Saturday, the first day to the real weekend. <laughs> the day you get to sleep in, hopefully. <laughs> so today I decided I would do a book review because I have a lot of things that I've been reading and about to read and start to read and did read and all of this that's going on for a variety of different um topics and I figured I would share this with you guys just so you can you know see what you can pick because winter is coming up and in the winter people stay in more and so why not pick up a book you know and so these are books that I believe will actually benefit you so of course I'm going to start with my very own book that I wrote um T's collection um this is a collection of short stories poems um what else I have in a couple of songs in here. So it's just a collection. It's on Amazon for $7.99. Um, unless they have some sale or something like that going on. Or um, you can contact me or click the link below um, to contact me or send me a message. And um, I can get you a signed copy for $25. So it's up to you. But anyway, so just to read, there's one in here that one of the stories that actually I love all of them. <laughs> but it's one in particular. It's called Clever Girl. And I'm just going to read a little bit just to get you an idea of what's, what's going on. Um, so I'm just going to read first a little bit. It says, Clever Girl. She walked into the liquor store smiling broadly. The store was set up like most liquor stores. When you first walk in, chips, crackers, and other food items were to the left. And the coolers in the back on the side and on the side of the walls full of pop, beer, wine. The right side of the store was the counter where the clerk stood behind three inches of plexiglass. She walked over to the lottery counter and happily waited her turn. The lottery winnings was right on time. She had bills to pay, food to buy, and a car to fix. $5,000 was more than enough to do it. She would even have money left over to save for the first time in years. She watched a young man enter the store heading for the back um, cooler of beer. He wore baggy jeans that needed a belt, a t-shirt down to his knees, and a black jacket. She watched the young man grab a bag of chips and head to the counter. May I help you, the clerk asked. Yes, she said excitedly. I want to cash this in. Can you cash or do I have to go downtown? The clerk looked at the lottery ticket, scanned it, and then he tucked the ticket on the other side of the machine out of sight. Hey, what are you doing? She asked, frowning. What? He asked her with his eyebrows raised. You know what? Give me my ticket back, she said. She demanded. What ticket? He said, the ticket you just tucked away on the other side of the machine, she said, tapping the glass with her finger. Man, just give her her stuff back, the young man in baggy jeans called out. So that's it. That's that's all I'm going to read to that one. But this is, like I said, T's collection. It's my book. I got poems in here as well, a couple of songs, um, a few, like I said, I think it's about four stories, four or five short stories in here, $7.99 on Amazon or like I said, you can contact me and I'll get you a signed autograph for $25. So that's the first book. The other book is from one of my sisters. <laughs> okay, this is my, my credit sister. I love this lady to death. And I, I didn't know she had the story that she has. Um, I haven't read this yet. I just read like the back of it. But this is telling her story. And um, I'll just read a little bit of the, the back cover so you can get an idea of what the story is. Because like I said, I haven't read it yet. But I did want to give a shout out to her. Because this is The Shadow in My Eyes by Deborah Rose. Um, it's on Amazon. Link is down below. And it says a shocking true story of child sexual abuse and a 10 year journey chronolo 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 chronicling <laughs> the journey from happy childhood to molestation, abuse, depression, and ultimately the witness stand. Her name is Deborah Rose, Deborah Rose. We call her Deborah though. Um, she was 12 years old when she was taken from Fairmount Park by a police officer and sexually assaulted. Her world came crashing down when the highly decorated and respected officer in the community made it clear that if she ever told, he would kill her. So this is her story. Um, so I do recommend it again. Like I said, the link is down below for you to get um, to pick up her book on Amazon. Um, this one is another young man who was here in um, Detroit, Michigan. He actually is going to school to do uh, massage therapy and he does cranial therapy. 
and very intelligent young man. Um, I love his spirit, and so I figured I'd give him a shout out on his book as well, which is From Ignorance to um, Intelligence, and it's a book of poetry that he made. So for ladies, when you want an inside look inside of the black man's mind, this is a good book to pick up. You know, look at his poems and the emotional, the emotional roller coaster he goes through. So check out the book. Now, I'm not a big person on self-help, but there is one in particular that I do, um, that I am reading and I present to you guys on Wednesday, and that's the Tao Te Ching. Now, I don't have a link for this down below because there's so many different versions of it. So just try to find a version that speaks to you or pick one because, you know, it's basically translations. And what this is and why I love this book so much is, is because it has so many stories in it because he uses like proverbs or um wise sayings to really teach a lesson and what i love is is that it was written 4500 years ago okay almost 5000 years ago and it's still relevant today and it can still help you out today so that's one of the reasons i go over this one every wednesday um so you can check that out and like always leave comments down below what you think um, in addition to that, y'all know I'm big on natural remedies. Ugh, these looks are heavy. Ugh. Natural remedies. So I have a few I wanted to go over with you guys. This one is Heal Your Body. Okay. By Louise Hay. Um, the link is below. And what I like about this is sometimes when we have ailments, it's not just something physical that's going on and not just something in in you know, the world around us that go on. Sometimes it's an imbalance within us and, and our emotions that are doing it. So for like this one, it says, um, it gives you a list, just so you can get kind of a glimpse. It gives you a list on the inside where you look up whatever ailment it is you're having. So let's say corns, okay? Uh, it gives you what it is. Corns, hardening areas of thought, stubborn, stubborn holding on to the pain of the past. And then it gives you kind of like an affirmation to say, to help relieve that and get past that. And as I move forward, free from the past, I am safe, I am free. Um, and then to give you a more personal one, when I got fired from my job, um, my foot was hurting me really bad. Okay, my foot started hurting me really, really bad and giving me problems. Like I would wake up limping and take a minute for me to get right, you know, that kind of pain. And it said foot problems. Fear of the future of and of not stepping forward in life. Okay? Did you hear what I said? I just got fired and my foot started hurting. And I looked it up in this book and it said fear of the future and not stepping forward in life. Okay? And the affirmation was I move forward in life with joy and with ease. So again, check out her book. By the way, I don't get anything from any of these. This is just me sharing this information with you. Nobody pays me. The links you get below got nothing to do with me, okay, at all. Nothing goes to me, no accolades, no money, no nothing. This is just me sharing. Um, this is another one that I'm in the process of reading. It's called Sacred Woman. Uh, let me turn this off. Maybe you can see better. Okay. No, nope, it's still not focusing. Um, but this one is called Sacred Woman by Queen Afua. And I love this because she's giving information and really going through how we as women really need to check ourselves and really take our womb serious, you know, and really heal our womb to heal our emotions and stuff. And that's what it is. This sacred woman, a guide to healing the feminine body, mind, and spirit. So this, well, it came highly recommended from some other people. It was actually a video that got me started on this, um, reading this. But like I said, I recommend this. Um, it's a good read. I, I, I still got a lot, long way to go, but it's worth it. Okay? So pick that one up. Um, and then when it comes to herbal healing, um, this is one of the ones I use a lot. Prescription for Herbal Healing by Phyllis Blotch. Um, I put the link down below because I did find this one on Amazon. So, um, but check this one out. Um, I like it because she gives you more than just the the herb and what it's good for. She'll tell you about um, warning signs. She gives you drug interactions as far as like with prescription medication. There's symptoms like this one is dry mouth. Um, 
So it's a lot, a wealth of information that she puts in here. It's not just the herbal information and what it's good for. She goes beyond that. And so I like to cross-reference stuff sometimes in this one, as well as looking in my normal book, which, <laughs> don't laugh at me, y'all, <laughs> but this is the one of the normal ones I go to all the time, Herbs for You by Dr. A.B. Howard. Um, there are CDs that are on Amazon. I didn't find the actual book. So the book that they have on there is like, um, 2000 what did I say almost three thousand dollars for the book and it didn't cost that much so don't go on Amazon see if you can find it someplace else but herbs for you by A.B. Howard he actually has two different ones because it's this one and then it's a combination y'all don't laugh at me <laughs> I know I use these books that's why they look the way herbs for you okay both of these are ones that I go to quite often um, the ones I use the most because these were basically the textbooks that I had when I took my herbal class. Um, so I, I referenced them a lot. And then I'm starting to learn essential oils. If you know from Mondays, um, from the, the video I did on Monday where I basically went and did an introduction, I am finding this book to be amazing. It's a reference guide for essential oils and it's by, um, Alan or well let me say Connie and Alan Higley okay this can be found on um, Amazon as well I'll probably put the link below if it's still available I didn't look this one up but this a wealth of knowledge I'm, I'm loving it it breaks it down from the science um, tells you about different single oils do you blends um, personal care uh, personal guide like it, it's, it's a wealth of knowledge in here and I'm, I'm finding this one to be, y'all, it's going to look like the other one in a minute, like my extract one. Because <laughs> the other one was for herbal extracts. This was for herbal essential oils. So, yeah, this is going to look like that one in a minute. <laughs> but, um, like I said, I'll put the link down below for this one as well if it's on Amazon. Now, that's it for as far as that kind of thing goes. I also have been um, learning about consumer credit. And the reason I have is because consumer credit can actually change not only your life, but the legacy that you leave behind, okay, with your family and everything else. Now, I debated on whether I would start teaching it, and from what my ancestors told me, they said, no, that's not my job. Stay in my lane and let those who, whose job it is to teach and who were sent to teach, let them be the ones that teach. So I'm going to send you to them, okay? Um, but before I do, the first one I want to talk about is Modern Money Mechanics. This tells you all about the banking system and how it works. So what the crooks of the banking system do all the time. That's what this one talks about, like from the startup to, um, wait, did this one talk about the startup or was that the creature from Jekyll Island? Creature from Jekyll Island talked about the startup. This talks about how the banking system is set up and how they use the money that you deposit into your account and why um, they say that they don't actually hold all the money in your account. So depending on how much money you have in the account, you may have to call them for them to order the money to get it for you to take it out. Yeah, it goes into all of that. And what their banks do with the purchasing of securities and everything, it goes into all of that. So um, I have finished reading this one, even though it's like halfway, at the halfway mark, whatever, I finished this one. So Modern Money Mechanics worth the read okay um then we have um y'all know i took i spoke about it before i took a mentorship with uh, a beautiful woman her name is ozma um she's on instagram tiktok and facebook uh i think her facebook goes by nubian lavelle something like that but if you go to instagram or tiktok you'll find her under credit repair fraud 2.0 okay now these are her books okay so we have take back your risk which is um a book about the united states and the monopoly bankruptcies and just finding out who you are okay then you have how to sue credit repair companies okay so 
credit repair companies nowadays is is it's a huge fraud okay like they that the stuff that go on with the credit repair companies is just ridiculous so if you've ever had issues with credit repair companies where they're supposed to fix your credit and didn't you gonna want to read this or even if you're thinking about it or want to get your credit repair um your credit report fixed read this one okay know who you are know what laws protect you um the other one is the credit repair fraud she came out with another one um which is why these two go together um how to sue them because they fraud <laughs> so these two kind of go together and then she did come out with a um hmm. sorry y'all doing too much talking <clears throat> she came out with another one which is the credit fraud credit fraud Credit Repair Fraud 2.0. I don't have that one yet, but this basically tells you the laws about credit credit repair and why it's fraudulent, okay? Um, in addition to that, you have the Bureau Bullies, um, which I'll put their link down below. And this is the DIY Reparations, okay? <coughs> so everybody always talking about reparations, reparations, reparations. This is do, do it yourself. You know, we don't really need reparations. The law is set up to protect us. Um, so all you really need to do is just follow what the law says and go out there and get your own reparations. But learn it first, okay? Learn the laws that protect you, which is where these three come in, okay? <coughs> so um, once you start down this journey and you start going after people, these are books that you need to know and need to understand and ones that my mentor recommended that we learn. Um, they're free online. You don't have to actually purchase these books. I did it because I'm a paper girl. I, I need to see it in writing and make notes and highlight and all that good stuff. So one is the federal rules of evidence. So you can find out what is allowed as evidence, what isn't allowed as evidence. This is, this is the rule book for it that they have to follow in the courts. Um, the federal rules of civil procedure. Okay. This tells you. Y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to get it so you can see it. The federal rule, the federal rules of civil procedure. So this goes through the procedures that the that it, the, that you have to take in order to like sue somebody, or if you're trying to follow up on laws, or if somebody coming after you. This is the procedure of how they're supposed to do it. So a lot of times stuff don't get followed correctly. You need to know your the law yourself and find out your own rules. Um, this one right here, I kind of can't wait to read because. It's not really known, but the, the country is actually in bankruptcy. And because of that, there are certain things that benefit us as consumers from them being in bankruptcy. And that's what this one is basically going through. It's going through the federal rules of bankruptcy so that you can learn. I'm reading it so that I can learn to leverage those bankruptcy rules um, the proper way. I'm going to say it like that because what you take to be bankruptcy is not what bankruptcy is. It's actually the reverse. Um, but those are just a few of the books that I'm reading and <laughs> studying and really getting into. Um, there's other books too, like the the Bureau Bullies. They have a ton of other books. Um, it's digital though, so it's online, so I can't really show you that. But um, they have a, a wealth of knowledge. They even have a retreat that's coming up. So their link will be down below. And again, I'm, I don't get sponsored for anything. Okay, nobody sponsors me. I'm going to just put it like that. Nobody sponsors me. Nobody pays me to do anything. I don't get any benefit from any of this. I'm just sharing this information with you, hoping that you enjoy it. Um, and different ways that you can improve areas of your life and get a wealth of knowledge that will help. You know, not just entertain you, but actually help uh, make a better you. Um, so that's it for today <laughs> so that's it that's the that's your winter read for the, for the winter that's coming but i love you if you got anything out of this please like subscribe and share because if you got anything out of it chances are someone else will as well and if this doesn't benefit you it may benefit somebody else so share <laughs> i love you and i'll talk to you tomorrow